Rookie wide receiver Gabriel Davis is off to a great start in the NFL, and he's probably already turned your head once or twice. But while many are just starting to take notice of what Davis can do on the field, there's someone who's known his capabilities since he was a little boy. This guy is always going to be the limit for him. You can't ignore the pride Alana Davis has in her son Gabriel, her eldest child living out a dream. He believed in himself for a long time, and I was so proud of that because for so many years, I struggled with confidence, but to see my son be confident in who he is, to me, that's just the ultimate for me. After taking up football as a little boy, Gabriel stayed with it. He was a standout at UCF, and on April 25th, his NFL dream became a reality when the Buffalo Bills drafted him in the fourth round. The young man that he grew into, confident and strong, and that he made it, he did it. Since the day he's arrived in Buffalo, Gabriel has turned heads. Remember that catch in Miami? Alana was there to see it. For that to be the first game I get to see him play in the NFL and then score and then the play that he made, even though I know what he's capable of, I think the more that people realize what he's capable of, it'll things will start moving fast for him. But the rookie wide receiver says he wouldn't be where he is if it weren't for Alana, a single mother who raised he and his siblings on her own, a strong woman herself who's always been his number one fan. I watched her work. Um, and sacrificed a lot for us. And you know, the biggest thing um, that I feel like she taught me was don't never let anybody tell you can't do anything. A lesson Gabriel has carried with him, learning from his mother how to be a man on and off the field. But Alana says Gabriel has taught her just as much, if not even more. He's helped me realize that it's not how you start, it's how you finish. He rewrote my story. He rewrote my ending. I shine and hold my head high because of him. That's what he taught me, that it's how you finish. And um, that's that's been a great lesson that I've learned.